Hey boys and girls, welcome back to Persona 5 Tactica. In the last episode, we faced the truth of the matter on everything we saw from Toshiro's past that's been deeply hidden throughout our adventure, learning the truth of what this kingdom truly is, and what the real tyrant could most likely be. But the fact is, due to Toshiro's past being the way that it is the rebellion that once stood with him to take down the villainous ways of Ichiro Nakabachi was the same people who turned him into a scapegoat once they went too far in their villainization of the man even though his crimes were justly punished they went to the point where the people who had no connection to him or never even got uh, anything bad from him ended up, uh, well, jumping into the pile to the point where he literally snapped, pushing Eri Natsuhara directly into the path of an oncoming train. Although she survived, her will of rebellion was completely snuffed out because of everything that befell Toshiro. While at the same point, Toshiro's will of rebellion was shattered seemingly forever, blaming himself for everything even though he was never at fault, and was just a scapegoat for everything that ended up happening in the very end of everything, becoming akin to a living puppet in his own words, due to all of his past regrets. So, with that being said, honestly, um, I think we're definitely preparing for the end of Chapter 3. I am very much uh, sure about that. I'm, I'm pretty sure. Uh, but the thing is, though, though, if we are heading to the end of Chapter 3 here, is this going to be the second to last kingdom, or do we still have another kingdom before the final one? Because I think at least by 4 or 5, we'll be in the final one. It depends on what happens at the end of this one, I definitely will have to say. But with that being said, honestly, our next goal, Rescue Arena find the kingdom's ruler, and prepare for probably our boss fight of the kingdom as well at the same time. So, with that being said, honestly, without a, uh, any time to lose, let's head straight into the next mission and prepare for whatever battle comes next, because it says battle, so we're definitely getting ready for something. So, honestly, let's head out and prepare for whatever comes next. There's that gun logo with the star again. But, uh, oh. We're heading to the roof, I think. Student Council. So it is here after all. Okay. Well, apparently this is. Oh, Student Council room. This kind of looks like the rooftop entrance, but. that we saw earlier, but apparently we're heading to the Student Council room. I guess that makes sense. Because that's where everything started. So it would make sense for it all to end here as well. Okay. Let's go hopefully find Arena and find the leader of everything. Is this a student council room? Yep, seemingly. I don't know what that fiend is plotting. This is the place I was most attached to as a student. That makes sense. It makes a lot of sense. And if uh, our hunch is right on the true tyrant, well, because of the fact of the voice, if it is indeed Toshiro, it would make a lot of sense for Toshiro to be here. So, this is more of an actual palace, then, if that is the case. Which makes sense that it, um, that it felt more like one, though. But the thing is, is, it's also different than a palace with the fact that, you know, all the legionnaires or what would be shadows were hiding behind those doors and not actually in the open at all, which was interesting. Hmm. I guess we'll find out. But I, I really do think it's Toshiro at this point. But the, it's weird because the uh, the rebels aren't, um, you know, censoring his name when they say Toshiro, but they said someone else's name and it got censored out, like Nakabachi, which is interesting. I don't know why that would be the case. But honestly, let's head inside the door. It's also where I spent the most time with Aerie. Which would also connect very well. So it's the perfect place 
place for him to play his sick mind games with you again, huh? Yep. That would be the... that would make a lot of sense. How are you doing, Toshiro? I hope he's doing okay. Honestly, I'm on the brink of falling apart. Makes sense. I don't blame you. I can't guarantee I won't lose it again. Mm -mm. I'm sure you'll smack some sense into me if it happens, right? Yeah, we'll try. But, uh, with our fist right, we'll turn you to Takiyaki. Uh, leave it to us. Um, yeah, leave it to us. Yes. Rest assured, we won't hold back. I would rather hold back so we don't hurt him, but okay. Hang on, if you go all out, Toshiro could end up with a gaping hole in his face. Wouldn't that be bad? Yeah, it would. You, you definitely need to hold back there, Makoto. Don't even say that you're not holding back, because that's that's terrifying. Well, whatever happens, happens. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> please, go easy on me. Yeah, please. In any case? Yeah, in any case. Let's prepare for whatever comes next. I can no longer sincerely claim that I'm firm in my convictions. That's okay. But that being said, I'm not going to run either. That's where I'm at right now. Okay, well, good. No need to run. Face it head on, and we'll get our ourselves out of here in due time. That's okay. Honestly, we're all in the same boat here. Which is true. Yeah, I mean, it's not like we're immune to fear. <laughs> fair. Very fair. Makoto especially with the ghost thing. Like Irina said, whenever one of us feels stuck, we need to step in and provide support. Which is true. That's all there is to it. Thank you. Mm, no problem, buddy. Now let's get going. We'll save Arena, and I'll settle the score with my past. Okay, let's head on in, Toshiro. What are we preparing for, though, is the real question. Like, what kind of boss are we really going to be dealing with? real off about this place. Oh, there's Arena. Even though it does feel off. But she is here. Everyone, over there! She looks okay. Uh. Hmm. Arena! Well, this definitely seems like a trap of some sort, although I'm not really sure what kind of trap they could set up in a room this small. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm pleased to see you've arrived safely. Okay, there's our speaker on the loud- or the voice on the loudspeakers again. How many times must I repeat myself? Who the hell are you? Hmm. Who am I? My, what a surprise! You of all people should already- and that would make a lot of sense if that if uh, what we've been saying is true. I am the embodiment of your sin. I'm you, Toshiro. Okay, so we were right. It just uh, it, his voice sounded a little off, but it, it definitely sounded like him to me. Okay, so it is indeed Toshiro. So this would be a palace then. That's interesting, but the fact that you know. He's inside of his own heart, so it's like he's literally facing himself, which is interesting. Me? Okay, preparing for the worst here. And prepare for whatever comes next, honestly, in the best way possible, or the worst way possible. <laughs> so, I've finally remembered everything, Toshiro. Do you recall the crime you committed? Uh, wait, is that? He looks just like Toshiro. Don't tell me. A twin would be unlikely, right? Agreed. Then this guy must be Toshiro's shadow? Okay, so there's our confirmation. And, well, yeah, he definitely looks like a shadow. <laughs> he definitely confirmed that one. 
but it's more like Persona 4 Shadows, which is interesting, because of the fact of, uh, you know, just in general, the, you know, the obvious difference between the two. That's interesting. Very interesting to see. And instead of yellow eyes, it's, uh, the white, pure white eyes, which is kind of terrifying. <laughs> he looks more like a butler, like a, or, well, I would say more like, like a vampire butler <laughs> with those white eyes. But, uh, well, here we go. And honestly, let's see what's going on with, uh, what he has to say, too. And so our fated encounter is finally upon us. We meet at last, my other self. We meet indeed. You remember it all now, don't you? Huh, he definitely sounds slightly different. Obviously, like, more, you know, anger, angry as well as, uh, more sinister than Toshiro sounds, so it is slightly different, so that makes a lot of sense why the speaker sounded different for when we were hearing him on there. Being nothing more than a mindless puppet at your fiancé's beck and call. Killing your mother by dragging her out on a selfish whim. Well, we know that's definitely not his fault. And then masquerading as a hero of your school, only to send your Hmm. All of these are sins you decided to deny. Isn't that right? Well, honestly, none of that was his fault. Shut up! You know, Toshiro, I pity you. Oh, hmm. I don't know, uh, Toshiro's inner self. You seem like, uh, you don't understand the full picture either, buddy. And this girl, the lingering husk of your dream. Lingering husk of your dream, you say? Bastard! The hell do you think you're doing to Arena? Hey, what are you doing to Arena? Stop it! Don't you dare touch her! Don't touch her? You want me to leave her alone, do you? Don't lie to me! Uh, he's not lying to you. Be honest, Toshi. You despised her, didn't you? You went through hell all on account of her silly ideals. I don't think Toshiro ever hated her. Ever. That wouldn't make sense at all. Trust me. I know. I knew. After all. You probably were... He was probably maybe jealous, but I don't think he hated her. At all. So rejoice! Your wish is about to be granted. Granted? What do you mean by that? Exactly. What kind of wish is being granted? I'm a little worried now, honestly. But here we go, I guess. Haven't you realized by now, Toshiro? The incessant pain and suffering that I've endured, it's all because of her. This truly is your inescapable curse. Okay, here we go. We're definitely preparing for what kind of boss we're going to be really dealing with. And it seems like uh, Toshiro's uh, inner shadow is uh, definitely powering something up. Although I'm not exactly sure what. But it seems like whatever it is doing, it's siphoning from Arena. Seemingly. Um, I'm a little worried of what's to come. But, uh, well, let's prepare for whatever comes next, honestly. Where are we? Very good question there, Haru. Very good question. Seems like the roof, though, from... based on, like, how open it is up in our area where we're at right now. 
Definitely isn't like the hellish worlds we were in in those doors, though. What's going on? Uh, good question, on. Do you finally understand now? Hmm. Uh huh. Stop! I said stop! I don't think your shadow's ever gonna stop, buddy. How about we change that course for you now? What do you mean? Eternally. Uh that would probably be the worst possible thing to do. Huh. That's not good. Well, uh, honestly, definitely not happening. Yeah. Let's go, guys. Let's go indeed. Yeah. <laughs> Off we go. Oh, what was that? Did you do something like Mario, or was that something different? Oh, he wrapped us in bandages. Okay. Interesting. So he's got some kind of slowing mechanic. Or, you know, like stopping us in place mechanic. So we do need to worry about that, I guess, when we do officially fight him. Is that real? The best you have to offer? You've fallen right into my trap without a second thought. And it really didn't look like a trap, but if you say so. We hit them behind us. How could I fall for that? Mm hmm. Yeah, it is kind of yeah, just coming out of the ground behind us. Yeah, I guess he did. That that does look more like a trap. Now I see what exactly he did. Huh. Well, Toshiro is the only one that's uh, able to move right now, and I don't know what he's gonna possibly be able to be able to do with the fact that you know. Um, I don't think he can do anything to his shadow. So, uh, yeah, this isn't good, is it? All this taunting was merely a setup, was it? Such a careless blunder. Yeah, it kind of was. See, There's no one left to save you now. No, there definitely is still something. Uh, we just gotta figure out a plan, is all. <laughs> say that, but there's still possibly something we could do. Come now. Have you returned to your senses? You must remember all that pain and fear you hid away. Hmm. What do you gotta say to Oshiro, the real one? Huh. That's, that's really terrifying, by the way. Like, the eyes of that shadow. There's, like, literally no like, care in the world towards anything, except for fixing what he thinks needs to be fixed. Now remember it! Drink it all, Lee! For it will be the moment the symbol of your revolution rots away! Okay, well, whatever is about to happen is about to happen, and whatever it is, it's not good. <laughs> That's for sure. You just stay put in the while I strangle this rebel filth. Take it, Toshiro! Huh? Wasted effort. He won't be fighting back any longer. Now, for the finishing touch. Be grateful, Toshiro. After this, you'll never make the same foolish mistake again. <sighs> Die, you accursed husk of Eri Natsuhara! Toshiro. 
hero. <laughs> Remember how it actually ended. What we did wasn't a mistake. But I just can't fight anymore. Still, though, you shouldn't regret what we have done. Huh? You see, Kurano-san came by earlier. Kurano? You mean the whistleblower? She apologized over and over. She really feels guilty for the way things turned out. Apparently, she told the school about her part-time job. Said she wishes she'd done it sooner. <laughs> I knew it. We never should have. But she also said she's grateful. <sighs> she said she's in a much better place than if she'd done nothing and let Nakabachi go on using her. Her exact words were... Thank you so much. Seriously. Oh. Toshiro? You need to see her know... Our point of view. I won't say we handled it all the right way. But... Deciding to stand up to Nakabachi... I know in my heart that wasn't a mistake. As for me... I may not be fighting by her side for a while. But if you can find a way to keep fighting, to hold on to that will for change instead of regretting it, then I promise I'll catch back up to you one day, and we'll keep making this world better. Natsuhara, senpai. So, at the very least, that's what I want to do. You're your own person, with your own future to find. But, I know your heart. One day you're going to... <sighs> the hope she placed in you, it's still right here. So please, please, stand up, Toshiro! Stand up! I take care of business! <laughs> okay! Wow! <laughs> I love that cutscene. I really, really like that cutscene. And it also made more sense of why he was wearing the glove because uh, well he scarred all over his hand from well what had happened so that's interesting okay so one other thing i noticed is the clock actually started moving and it was at six o'clock right on the clock so we just went to 601 so stuff is moving again, and we're no longer stuck in the same spots. 
So what now? Is the real question. Also, <laughs> Arena's face after what Toshiro said was really cute, by the way. I need to mention that. But, um, honestly, here we go. Whatever comes next is, uh, definitely the preparation to, uh, well, whatever's gonna set us up for the next kingdom, for sure. We're getting closer and closer. The thing is, is, uh, what's gonna happen when we do get to the next kingdom is the real question. Because, uh, well, honestly, boss fight's definitely preparing. The thing is, is I'm not really sure what Shadow Toshiro's got up his sleeves. But we do need to be careful about those, uh, bandage wrap things that he can leave behind, like mines. But other than that, one other thing to note, note about Arena's wraps when he was wrapping around Arena, they were like bloody bandages almost, compared to the ones that were around the Phantom Thieves, which were more brand new bandages, is something to note. But, uh, well, here we go. Whatever comes next is, uh, definitely upon us. What are you doing, Toshi? Well, standing up to you, buddy. Well, technically you aren't, in a way. You're just what he thinks he regrets, honestly, at the end of the day. From what we know in Persona 4, that's basically how most of it was. Although, they ended up accepting it at the end of the day, but it was a lot, a lot of it was their regrets that they had to figure out that weren't really regrets and more stuff that they had to accept, more than anything. And this definitely seems more akin to a shadow of somebody like in Persona 4. You're wrong. You've got it all wrong, damn it. Hmm, you may say that, buddy, but is that true? You were supposed to get rid of her and end this plague of rotten narcissism. Yeah, says you, buddy. You definitely seem more like the narcissist here. You said it yourself. Mm hmm yeah, sure. Fighting and struggling on only leads to suffering. He said that when he was at his lowest, buddy. That's why you wanted me to get rid of her? Apparently. That's really a really shallow reason to get rid of her. That's right, my it's not too late. Let's end her. Not gonna happen, buddy. You still can't see it? Absolutely everything you went through was because of her. No, it wasn't. <laughs> you really think Yoshiki and Marie were because of her? <laughs> That's not the case, buddy. Yoshiki was always bad. That was definitely not the case, bud. Maybe the things that happened in school, but not everything that bad that has ever happened to him was not because of Harry. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, there, Shadow. She'll drag you down to him to bask in her own narcissism. She's nothing more than a delusional lunatic. Says you, buddy. Shut the hell up. <laughs> Good on you, Toshiro. Huh? Yep, let him know your business. Okay, preparing for whatever is coming next, then, it looks like. Enough from you! <sighs> <laughs> Your disgusting lies won't work on me. Uh, that's right. I'm... <laughs> you seem to have found your resolve. All manner of suffering can lead your heart astray. But a kindled flame can withstand any strife in this world. And with this, we begin the next chapter. 
I am now. Thou art I. Now. Call my name! <laughs> Rebellion is here. The rebellion within my heart. Okay, we're immediately into the battle. It looks like he didn't even let me set up or anything. He just threw us right in. And we have four playable characters here. This is new. Okay. So it looks like we might be uh, finally allowed to actually have more than three members now. Looks like from maybe here on out. That's pretty cool. Also, uh, well, from what we just saw, Toshiro just awakened. Which is interesting with the fact that we're fighting off against his shadow because, uh, well, that's his rebellious spirit that just awakened. So uh, that proves that he doesn't regret anything now. But, that's interesting, so Arena was never just a, you know, an embodiment of Arena, or Eri Natsuhara, but, well, Toshiro's real shadow. But it took the form of Arena because of the fact, or Eri, because of the fact that, well, well, that's what made him feel alive. Not himself, but Eri. Which is interesting. It's really sweet, honestly. I like that. But honestly, here we go. Defeat Shadow Toshiro and prepare for whatever comes next. Toshiro is KO'd or all allies are wiped out. So if Toshiro goes down, it's, uh, we're donezo. So we need to be careful there. Okay. He's known as a guest here. Okay. Ooh. What's this? Okay. Crystal of Rebirth conjures a crystal that heals surrounding allies, can be knocked back with a melee attack. Deals damage to one target, no SP cost. That's gun damage. Uh, Liberator, so he has almighty damage. Medium area and medium er or medium damage in a medium area, or technically arena and uh, Toshiro, but Arena is now known as Ernesto Flame of Revolution, which is a really cool name and title. And then, uh, Conjures a Crystal Healing Surrounding Allies can be knocked back with a melee attack. Okay. I think I understand it. And then, obviously, we still have Arena, technically, too, which is interesting. Although we can't use Arena while Toshiro is active, it looks like. Or maybe we can, I don't know. I guess we'll find out if uh, we can split them and still use a Persona as her. But, uh, first things first is figuring out, uh, what kind of party we're gonna bring in here. Uh, we did do Haru and Makoto already. So I think what we're gonna do is, uh, let's do On. On sounds pretty good. And I think Yusuke, uh, uh, yeah, Yusuke sounds pretty good. Let's go with that. I like that. And then obviously Joker. And then obviously just figure out what personas we want to bring into a fight like this. And also maybe look at our skills as well before we go into, just in case. But, uh, I feel like, hmm, kind of like this more, honestly. But we kind of need this at the same time. But I do like this one. But I think we're going to hold that so another character can have that. And then obviously, I'm going to say more than likely her for that one. And obviously we're bringing Yusuke, so Yusuke is going to need something, which is more than likely going to be Ganesha, since we want to be able to keep the money flow going. So I think that should be what we should bring in. And then for skills-wise, we still have a little bit of points to use. 
So we should probably figure that out. I'm gonna say definitely we can bring in the cover, I think. Doesn't look like there's an upper ground area. We should double check that real quick though, just in case, because you never honestly know. Can we go above? Doesn't look like it, so I don't think we're going to need follow-ups, so we can take that off of our current skills too, for anyone going into this fight. And then go from there, I think. Okay, she doesn't already have none, so that's good. And then honestly from there, SP could always be good, because we're going into a boss fight. Never a bad idea. I guess we can hold on to that. Or we can also just get rid of the cover one then get rid of the, the SP one for a second, just to see what else we can gather. Which medium damage in a medium area is not bad. I kind of like that. I don't think that's a bad idea. I kind of like it. Any way we can possibly get uh, godlike speed? No. It doesn't look like it at the current moment. But that doesn't mean that it's not possible. It's more of like... What do we get rid of to get it? I think what we can do is like something along the lines of that. I like extra movement more in this case. I think I can do better with it. Then from there, honestly, it's just Yusuke. What else would Yusuke like to bring to the table to, for a fight like this? Which, movement can always be good. Skill range is always helpful. Don't mind that at all, honestly. And then obviously we don't need this, but we do like this. But the thing is, is we're not shooting from high ground right now, so we can swap it out for the time being, which is not a bad idea. And then what we can also do is maybe get Freeze Amp to make this do even more damage, which I don't mind the idea of that. I think we can work with this. Okay, I think we're good. Let's start the battle up and prepare for whatever comes next. Honestly, and well, get ready for whatever the worst possible uh, outcome is of everything, I guess. But I think we should be fine. But here we go. Okay, Toshiro and Ernesto. Now that Toshiro has gained Ernesto as his persona, he will join the fray as an additional party member. During party formation, you are still able to choose three units besides Toshiro for your party, including Arena. So we can use Arena while using Toshiro. Okay, that's cool. That's good. Good. Because I don't want to lose using her. So even though he is, or she is the persona for him, we still can use her and the persona at the same time. That's really interesting. I like that. Okay. Toshiro's per position is not taken into account for determining the area of triple threats, nor can he activate them. However, if Toshiro gets a one more, the other party members are able to perform a triple threat. Toshiro can activate. Oh. Okay, wait. So, gets a one more and the other party members have are able to perform a... So, Okay, so he can activate them, it's just that he's- okay, that's interesting. So he can use his turn to activate the triple threat, and I can still move around with the other people. That's interesting, okay, that's pretty cool. So, just whoever's in the in the triangle formation for the other units that aren't. Okay, cool. Here I go. Oh, this ends now. Lend me your strength, Phantom Thieves. <laughs> Arena became Toshio's persona. Yep, apparently so, which is pretty cool. It's alright, I can still send Serena in that persona too. It's almost like a cheat code. We have never seen anything like it, but that's Serena and a persona all at once. For real? Which is pretty cool. <laughs> what the hell? Arena Toshiro, you two are awesome. Um, I know I've caused a lot of problems for y'all, but... Oh, uh, but now my resolve is absolute. Hmm, stop, still you spout such nonsense. You can't change who you are, and no matter how hard you try. And now it's time for you to die. 
<laughs> obviously, I gotta change it slightly because they have slightly different voices, so obviously, I gotta change it up slightly. But, uh, new shadows. Didn't put up a barrier? He needs a strong one. Uh, leave it to me. With his power now, with our powers, we'll, have a, we'll blast a hole right through. Go for it, Tokyo. Even when it's important. Just witness Tokyo's resolve. Now it's our turn. Yeah, it is. Also, he doesn't have a weapon. That's a little worrying. But it looks like gun. Okay, so arena is his weapon. Okay, good. Weird that they don't just let him press Y then. But okay, so his persona protects him then. That's good. He also has liberator, which is kind of cool. I don't think just focusing him is a good idea, but I guess we'll find out. Okay, let's see here. Let's definitely prepare movements first. He also has a shield, so definitely no just swinging at him. Looks like we can get pretty close to him, though. Let's kind of just figure out what we want to do. Could hit this guy. That would actually give us a opening there. Also, the way he says that. One second. I want him to say Persona again. <laughs> okay. But yeah, I think we definitely go Liberator here. Very cool Persona, by the way. Okay. Hit him. Now that other guy is now open. So we want to definitely try and take advantage of that. I'm going to try and hit him too with this as well. Just so we can get a chance at it. Try and get as close as we possibly can while preparing for whatever comes next. <laughs> it's useless. Uh, the Barry is reflecting our attacks. We gotta do something about it first. Understand? <laughs> I could do this. I'll break through it if it's the last thing I do. Alright. We believe in you. I want you to join powers. We'll try. First things first is trying to figure out a way to do so. Looks like I can push you into the open. That's what we need to do, first and foremost. Okay. Well, we got him moving. I don't think that's going to be a shadow that's going to help us, though. But maybe it will, you never know. Mm. It's a knockout on him. Okay. Well, it looks like we're going to have to use the, uh, the Ravager, as I like to call them for this. So let's knock him down then. Okay. Get behind cover. Push him forward. Oh, oh, we froze him. Eesh. That was not the plan. But, uh, yeah. Okay. Uh, Joker, you're just gonna end turn. Then. That was not the plan. Also, I should have probably looked at Toshiro's move set. More enemies. Okay. Interesting. Uh, what do you do, Shadow to Tojiro? Or Toshiro? 1000 HP, almost. Hmm. Okay. So is it more of just attack him with Toshiro, or... Let's see. I want confirmation on that. Also, can I melee? No, I can't. It was worth a shot. Uh, let's see. Does look like it knocks him down. And it does get a, uh, a get him here. Okay, let's try it. See if we can knock him down. Okay, down he goes. No, impossible. Way to go. Oh, whoa, going to a You broke through the barrier. Huh, that thing there is undeniable to me. It's a symbol of my weakness. But I will overcome and I must. Alright. Oh, another kid. Let's check out together. Okay. First things first is getting Toshiro out of uh, harm's way first. Can this guy get to me? Okay, he can't. Okay. We set it up over here then. But uh, first things first, let's actually move everybody around real quick to get a good uh, positioning on everything. Is there any way I can maybe get uh, a little bit more in here? Maybe. Okay, Joker, you go over here, buddy. How about that? That does hit everybody. Okay. So it looks like a pretty good idea. Let's go for it. 
not too bad. And we also get to see a 4-in-1 triple threat, which would be a quadra threat, or an actual all-out attack now at this point. <laughs> not too bad. Can we do full damage to him now, though? Looks like we can. Okay. Let's prepare for that, then. Okay, so Joker, I guess you're just going to prepare, then. Try and do as much as we can. Um, I think just hitting him is a good idea here, with uh, any kind of regular attacks here. Because gun damage does good, but it doesn't do nearly as much damage as uh, what we really want here. But definitely do for dying here, for sure. <laughs> just get as much as we possibly can into him. Okay, not bad. Then it's either... Oh, Agudine might be enough, so let's just go for it. Let's knock out Shadow Toshiro. In. Oh, he didn't go down. Something's happening. Okay, Barrier of Rejection. What are you doing? <laughs> How many times are you going to make me say this? That woman, you have to kill her with your own two hands. <laughs> Nothing you say anymore will cause my heart to waver. You're doing good, Toshiro. I think you're working. Time to blast a hole, a hole in that barrier. Or at least try. Best we can. What are they planning? Putting them right next to us. A little scary, but uh, we can figure that out. Okay, um... Hmm. You scale, you move a little bit. Let's see here. I can hit him. Not enough to knock him down, though. If I do do a regular hit, does it do any damage? No, it doesn't. Okay. So it's more of get some damage in with Toshiro. Two turns in a row. And then you can get the knockout on him. Okay. Seems like a good idea. Hmm. That's interesting, too, by the way. Can't be knocked back with a melee attack. Okay then, but uh, let's see, I'm trying to think of how we want to do this. I think we're far enough to the point where these guys can't hit Toshiro? Yeah, they're not close enough, okay. So yeah, Toshiro's good where he is, so we're definitely going to try and just go for the hit. I would go Liberator, but I don't think that's a good idea. Also 125 damage, that's not bad at all. Let's go for it. Zero SP too, which I don't mind. Probably could have went for regular damage there, but I don't think it's necessary. Honestly, this counts as being up against a wall. I don't mind that. Hmm. Okay. Well, first things first is figuring out what to do with uh, our one guy here. So let's see if we can maybe, like, I don't want to boof a dine, I just want to move this other guy. My idea. Let's see. I hit him. But, uh, I'm gonna have to do it from very far back, it looks like. Also, I can't hit this guy from here. Really? Huh. Okay, then. Um, how about from here, then? This should be more than enough. And it shouldn't knock him out, either, which is good. Okay. I think as long as we can maybe get a triple threat here, we can possibly... It says a knockout. Really? Sure. It shouldn't be a knockout. Let's see. Let's do it from like this angle over here. Or we can melee him. Not a bad idea, actually. Yeah, we could probably do that. Yeah, let's try it. Because that, that doesn't knock him out, so maybe it counts as a triple threat for us. I guess we'll find out. Doesn't do damage to him. Okay. But it was at least worth a shot. And then he can't do any damage to us, so it's better off that we just do that, honestly. <laughs> Still cool that Toshiro joins you for that. I really like that. But there we go. Down to go. Get nice and close to him to prepare for whatever we need to do. Can't knock him down with Phantom Judge, but we can remember that. But let's end turn. Okay, so far Toshiro hasn't been too dangerous. Dream eating bandages. Oh, he's doing something. Who's actually attacking now. Enemy okay. Tough, take Looks like his shadows are more dangerous than no, him himself. No. Also, are these called the same things, by the way? Hollow Hollowhillians. 
Yeah, it seems like it. Okay, so now it's just about trying to figure out how to move Toshiro. So Toshiro, you're gonna, you're gonna move uh, into the safety of uh, knocking this guy down with Baywell there. There we go. Oh, he might be out, actually. Apparently that was enough. <laughs> down you go, Toshiro. I don't think it's over, though. I think we're far from over. But we're definitely getting close to whatever we need to do to actually take him down once and for all, for his shadow at least. And then whatever comes next, honestly, is where things get really interesting, I think. Well, how you like that, Shadow Toshiro? Feeling better now? I uh, just to uh, put you in your place a little bit. Your attitude certainly changed. Where is all that cockiness of yours? Yeah, where is it, buddy? I thought you were you were winning everything and you had no chance of losing. <laughs> you should watch your tongue, Toshiro. Says you, Toshiro. This war is not enough to cow you. Then perhaps your greatest failure will. Greatest failure, you say? What are you playing in there, buddy? Oh, he's going somewhere. He's gone? I don't think he's gone for good. I think he's preparing something. No, he's still close. Don't let your guard down, people. Yeah, be careful just in case. You never know. Rumbling. Uh oh. Is this an earthquake? Seemingly, but uh, I think the real boss is about to begin. It's not. Uh oh. Well, here we go. <laughs> Whatever's been happening is happening now. <laughs> For sure. No way around that one. What's happening? Huh? What? What? <laughs> sure you get it! Phantom Thieves! Let's go! Yes! Okay, here we go. <laughs> the real boss fight now begins. Defeat Eri Natsuhara, or the fake Eri Natsuhara, because we know that this would never be how Eri would act towards him. Because I'm pretty sure that love letter we got in that one quest was from Eri. I highly doubt she would ever think this of him. But, uh, let's see here. So Toshiro gets knocked out, then it's a failure, nothing else. Okay. Um, An and Yusuke are no longer charged up, so we definitely want to swap out. Um, let's go over Yuji. And then, uh, Morgana could be good here. You know what? Yeah, let's go the, the OG. OG squad, Joker, Morgana, and Ryuji. And then obviously our new, uh, new guy Toshiro. <laughs> okay, other than that, uh, prep menu, just need to swap the skills around, and then give everybody what they need. So you are definitely taking this, and then Ganesha is definitely going on to Ryuji. Or actually, or would Ryuji rather that, actually? Hmm. Good question, actually. Let's see. SP... I think Morgana uses more SP, so I'm gonna say probably just better for Ganesha to go on to you, buddy, and then go from there. Okay, I think we should be good. We'll definitely take my save while I can get it, 
just in case. You never know. Never know when you're going to need it, but severing the past is what we're on right now, apparently. But here we go. Let's prepare for actually analysis first. I'd like to know what's going on, I guess. Giant Haru Natsuhara. It's like Futaba's uh, mom's fight back in the original story. But no idea what she does. 5,000 HP, though. Well, here we go. Let's find out. It's a lot of HP, though. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Looks like I can get close. Not enough to actually do anything, so it wants us to charge. If we can. Joker, you can go there, I guess, buddy. Rana, you get closer. We can get you closer. To the point where you can actually attack. Well, we need to keep him the safest, so... Could do this, but not a not a need. Okay. Uh, Ryuji has the most HP, so Ryuji can be in the open somewhat. So because of that, I'm gonna just take this positioning instead. Okay. Take our charge. Prepare for whatever comes. Level it bullets. Also, just remember I could have used some skill points here. Okay. Hit me twice. She does multiple attacks. Even though we're in cover. Interesting. Now it's my turn. Didn't spawn anything. Okay, let's get closer then. And just do what we can do and get Toshiro close as well. We don't know what she does yet, so let's try and be as careful as possible. Let's see here, 115 or that. Gotta get ready! Doesn't look like we do any damage to her. Yeah, it doesn't look like we do anything to her. Hmm. Okay, let's start with Toshiro first, just in case. And see what happens. Oh, it did something. It's just very low damage. Okay. So just keep hitting. Um, any reason I can't use a Persona here? Ooh. Ryuji needs to be, like, right up close and personal with her just to do anything. Okay. Interesting. Not a good thing for us. Unless she's got some kind of thing that stops us from hitting her. Oh, she's further back than I realized. Mm. Okay. Well, if I have to get closer, then I'll get closer. We can heal. We have Morgana. So, we need to. We'll do so. But let's definitely be careful as best we can. And definitely Garudine you. Just do as much damage as we can to her while we can, and then prepare for whatever she has next. This isn't bad. Good chunk of damage. And Ryuji got a lot of damage in there too. Okay, Cradle of Disaster. What does that do? Okay. Ooh, that doesn't look good. It's weird he's giving us a real bad vibes. We need to destroy it before something happens. That's definitely a triple threat with Toshiro. 100%. We just need to figure out how to do it. Okay. Uh. Hmm. Okay, positioning wise. Uh. Looks like Morgana is the easiest one to get into position. Oh, or we can just hit this thing. Okay. Let me double check that first. Energy orb conjured by false airy explodes after one turn, burning and damaging all allies, destructible. Okay. Doesn't say anything about her still. Okay. Seems worrisome. Could just go for a knockout on you. As well as that thing. And then we'll still be close enough. So maybe I should back up slightly for Morgana here. And we can maybe take advantage of this. Okay, it looks like maybe one more? Maybe we're in range now. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. There we go. And then Morgana could we possibly be able to get into range to deal with our other buddy here. Like so. So, just need to get Joker slightly moved like that. And then you can prepare that. Oh. Can he not set it up? 
Now I'm confused. Oh, okay then. Strange. Okay, so I guess we can't do that. Unless maybe I have to knock one down. Yeah, let's try knocking one down. Maybe that's what I need to do. Okay. There. Okay, cool. And then just get you back into position where you were. And then, obviously, triple threats. Get them knocked out. We don't want them hitting us from behind. We need to try and negate as much damage as possible. Just in case. You never know. Well, let's get everybody back into where they were. Since we need to continuously do damage here. In order to make sure we're doing what we need to be doing. Plus, we want to definitely get our moderate Kaja uh, damage in while we can. And obviously, just keep doing as much uh, swings as we can on her false self. Let's see. Still not a lot of damage via gun. So, just go for Igon here. Just get as much as we can in. Not bad. Okay, about 500 damage. I'm the bullet again. We're in cover. I'm perfectly fine getting hit here. Just gonna speed it up a little bit, just because it hits three times. Just to save us some time. There's no reason to watch it with the fact that it's uh, not doing much damage to us. Plus, we, we saw it before. Okay, we have Voltage too. So if another guy does show up, we can use that to our advantage. Um, let's see here. I think we definitely go Baywella here for sure. So we can definitely set that up. Okay, not a lot of damage, but still something. I'm gonna hold on to our voltage now for Joker, just in case if we can use it to our benefit. And then obviously just keep doing damage with whatever we can. But so far we got a free turn to just try and wail on Aerie here the best we can. So far so good. Getting a good chunk of damage into her. We have a good chunk of SP left as well. Okay, Cradle of Disaster again. Setting up another one of those, uh... Oh, there's two of them this time. And then Malevolent Bullets. Okay. Speed that up slightly. Just because we're in a good spot. Okay. Nothing else was gonna move, because when something spawns in, they don't get to move. Okay. Got a bunch of them. Uh, but what does the blue one do? Energy Orb conjured by False Airy explodes after one turn, freezing and damaging all allies. Is this the same one as before? Yeah, it's the same one as before. Oh no, this one's yellow actually. It shocks everybody. Okay. So she can do multiple different types of ailments then. So we definitely don't want to get hit by that. If we can help it, of course. Uh, let's see here. We need a way to encircle everything, so we need it in a way that we can get behind as many of these guys as possible. We need to be able to hit, hit the one guy back there, I think. Um, maybe if I slightly move here, and go from there, maybe? Okay, this hits that. Okay, that works. That gets uh, Morgana directly behind him, at least. I just didn't want to push him out of position, too, just in case. Okay, and that also gives Morgana extra movement, too, because of that. So, that works out pretty well. Okay, cool. That works out. And then, obviously, we need to get uh, either Ryuji or Joker to move here. I'm going to say the safest option would be most likely to drop... Ooh, we can drop this on you. That's not a bad idea. Okay, let's use that. Kind of works out. Okay, not bad. Get Joker directly behind him, like so. Then Toshiro needs to knock this guy down, since this will definitely make things a little easier. Also, I might be able to use Liberator here. Nope. Okay, worth a shot. <laughs> okay, uh, but yeah, we need to knock you down so we can use Toshiro to do it. Okay, not bad. Okay. Now we just need to position everybody. Okay. I think like right around there. So 
pretty good. I feel like we can get a better triangle, but I think we can lead that other guy up, I think, in a way that it's not, like, too detrimental to us, and then we'll just get behind cover again, just so we're not in a position where we're in a dangerous spot, since they give us that ability for a reason, so let's make sure to definitely get in a good spot. Okay, and then obviously put Ryuji back where he was, Joker about where he was as well. Could also just go for the knockout on that one. Not a bad idea. Who does the least amount of damage out of everybody here? I guess that's a good thing to check. Let's see. 110. You do like 200-ish. Yeah, you do about 200. And then, uh, or it says lower, but yeah, it looks like it's just better for Morgana to do it. Or we can just Phantom Judge off, off of him. Next one. Which I don't mind. Actually, that might be a better idea. Yeah, let's just do that instead. Just focus on our guy, or on Ari over here. And just prepare for what we can prepare for. Since, honestly, it really doesn't matter <laughs> for the Legionnaire behind us. And honestly, I like the idea of getting more damage in at the current moment than worrying about that. Okay, not bad. Let's say Ari planning. One more bullets. Speed that up. Just until the Legionnaire starts doing what they want to do. Okay, what's Legionnaire planning? Shooting at Ryuji. Okay. Doesn't hurt us at all. Okay, not bad. Definitely usable. You can also just knock you down if you want to. Never a bad idea. Honestly, we might be able to do something... No, we can't. I was thinking we could, but <laughs> nope. Okay. Could actually maybe use it like this, though. Hmm. Doesn't look like it. I was thinking we could possibly do something. But I'll leave that guy alone for right now. We can just let him do what he wants to do. It's not like he's really affecting us at the moment. But just continuously do as much damage as we can. But we're about halfway on our HP bar now. So we're doing pretty good. Just <laughs> need to keep wailing on her. Did a little bit less damage that time. Well, that's fine. Definitely fine. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Good chunk in. If she has a second phase, it might start now. Oh, you won't get away. I won't let you. Uh oh. Bindings of the sinners. Oh. Okay. Attack stance. Ooh. Seriously? Um, don't let those gigantic cans. Um, don't, don't tell me those gigantic cans are going to try and smash us. Uh oh. Looks like they can't move because of those teams. Let's go. Yeah, it does seem that way. Surprised they didn't go for Joker and Ryuji over there. How much does that affect us? Why oh, literally can't move. Okay. Crystal Rebirth. I don't think I can help there. Huh. Um. Not exactly sure what to do here. Okay. Do I just attack her? Or. Oh, I need to break them. Okay, I get it. So, Toshiro, you're definitely gonna help. Then, okay, so Toshiro, you're gonna move back slightly. Uh, what's the closest you can be, actually? There we go. Right there. Okay, so what we need to do is attack the bindings. Okay, cool. And then we can get our guys back. Okay, that works out. And then, obviously, looks like... Keep where we're at. Is this guy close enough to be hit here? No. Thought it was maybe. Okay. So what Joker should do here is I'm gonna use Joker to take Ryuji's spot back where we want it. And then go from there. Because so I like the the spot that we were with uh, Ryuji and Joker earlier. So I'm gonna definitely try and take advantage of it. 
and just continuously attack her, because right now there's no need to worry about that shadow. He's not really doing much. He's definitely getting a little bit in the way, a little bit, but not to the point where he's affecting us. Plus, we can just get rid of him later when we get another chance to. And it looks like we might have that chance here. Yeah, kind of. Could just go for a blast on her instead, though, since we're not close enough. There we go. Not bad. Get a little bit of SP2 back as well. More blood bullet. Let it charge up. You know this doesn't do enough damage to hurt us, so I don't mind. Oh, strike hatred. Okay. So if we were in there, we would have definitely taken some damage. Not sure what kind of damage, but I do think it would be pretty bad damage to get hit by. Okay, not bad. Okay, Toshiro, get you back to where you were. I like the spot that you are were at. Is the Liberator good here? Okay, thought it would possibly help us. But let's definitely just keep the whaling uh, going. And see what we can possibly do. Plus, this is actually a better spot for Ryuji to be in, by the way. Since Ryuji is a little slower than Joker is. So we can use this positioning a little better than any other spot. But we're getting close. She's getting really close on the HP now. Just gotta just keep doing a little bit of damage as time goes. And prepare for whatever she's got next. Okay. What's the next plan? Give them to me. Give them all to me. I'm taking your lives. Just like you took mine. But you're not dead from what we saw. Growing despair. Oh! That's not good. She's blocking herself from taking damage there. Ooh. What was that? That's it. Oh, careful those spears. I sucking energy from his face. Oh, who knows what else they can do? Oh, the dream is fast. Okay. So she's blocking from that that soul siphon, basically. Ooh, got HP back. Thank you. Okay, uh, now is just preparing for whatever we need to do. I'm gonna say the best possible option here. Toshiro, you move back slightly. Joker, you go like right around here-ish. Could go something like that, but I'm gonna actually just go uh, my Aga here and get a good chunk here. Okay, not bad. Could have went Igon there. Don't know why I didn't. Oh, did damage to her. Whew. That did a lot of damage to her, actually. Wait, why can I only use gun now? Oh, I'm out of. Uh, I didn't even realize I was out of SP. Okay then. Um. Well, that's definitely a problem. Uh, let's do it this way then. Morgana, I think I'm okay with you just doing damage here. Yeah, the melee gone. Okay, everyone gets hit with the spare. More damage to her. Oop, might be enough to actually... Oop, she's actually down, down. Okay, let's see here. Ooh, it didn't do much for us, though. In terms of... Oh, actually, wait a minute. They gave Morgana a, a one more, actually. I think we definitely take that, then. <laughs> Hello. Ooh. Poker in the head. Uh, how much HP do you still have? 356. We could try it. I don't know if it's gonna work, but... Well, actually, your head's actually closer, actually. Can I get rid of the, uh... Nope. Okay, thought I could get rid of the shadow next to her. <laughs> Who's worth a shot? Okay, yeah, definitely just continue the Garudines as best we can. Not bad, not bad. Okay, Yuji, you get as close as you can, buddy. <laughs> try and do what you can. And I think, yeah, it definitely looks like we should be able to get her right here. Depending on, yeah, 155. This should do more than enough. Yeah, it looks like it. Baywell looks like it does enough. Okay, Aaron, you are down by about, like, 3 HP. Are you out, though? Seemingly looks like we've got it. I think. We do. Cool. <laughs> Boss down. Boss down indeed. Kingdom 3 completes. Okay, 35,000 uh, yen, a bunch of levels, and two levels as Phantom Thieves. Not bad at all. 
and also got a free Lilith. I'll take it. Uh, anything interesting? Norn is pretty interesting because I didn't have that one. I'll take it. Not bad. Cool. Nine turns. Not bad. Not bad at all. For a boss fight, nine turns is really good for a boss with 5,000 HP. <laughs> but we did have four allies, to be fair. But still, though, very, very fun fight. I liked it. Definitely feel like it could definitely be harder on a harder difficulty, for sure, though. Ooh. It's finally over. New memo. Let's see. Harry's been updated, too. Harry Natsuhara. Eri was badly injured by a deranged Nakabachi seeking revenge. She told Toshiro that she wouldn't be able to fight for a while, but she but promised to come back so long as Toshiro didn't have regrets about their time together. Her fearlessness has made her a symbol of rebellion within Toshiro's heart. Makes a lot of sense. Also, it looks like you can look at past memos, too, for the same character. That's cool. And then Shadow Toshiro. The true ruler of the Third Kingdom, and the embodiment of Toshiro's guilt. He transformed into a giant Airy in a last-ditch effort to overwhelm the Phantom Thieves, but it was no match against Toshiro's restored memories and the power of his newly awakened persona. <laughs> Good ol' Ernesto. And I'm guessing Arena is definitely- oh no, Toshiro, apparently. Okay, Toshiro Kasakabe. It began with his fiance, then his family, then his past, and finally himself. In the world of his mind, Toshiro faced his demons and awakened as a Persona user, transforming Arena into her true form. Once Toshiro severed his self-doubts, the fire of a revolution lit in his heart was there to show him the way. Okay, interesting. But uh, let's replay that line just because I kind of did cut him off a little bit. <sighs> it's finally over. At least for now. At least for now, indeed, buddy. At least for now, indeed. Oh, and there's Irina. <laughs> Toshiro and Irina. Well, we kind of already knew she was still there, buddy. Hmm? Hey, guys. Hey, Irina. Long time no see. Feeling better? Uh, I'm glad we won and all, but what the hell just happened? Oh, very interesting question, but she's definitely a very interesting persona. It's cool that he can fight alongside her as well as with her as a persona from what we read. That's actually really cool. I don't know how that's going to work, but I think it's cool. Yes, we could use some help getting caught up. That would definitely help. Fair enough. Did something come back to you? Seems like it. Yeah. I was made from Toshiro's heart. No, technically I'm more like a manifestation of his heart. Manifestation of his heart. Okay. Arena. Arena's true identity is revealed to be Toshiro's persona, Ernesto. Ernesto is unique in that she can change between human and persona forms at will. Her appearance is strongly influenced by Toshiro's memory of Eri. The flame of revolution that once lit the heart of a young boy has now manifested into a great blaze. At will. So does Arena like turn into Ernesto, Ernesto and like leave the board? Basically? Is that what that's basically saying? Huh. I wonder how that's gonna work. Okay. Cool though, I like it. His heart, a manifestation. His heart, you say. For some reason, human cognition can lead to the physical materialization of their own heart in the metaverse. Huh. That's pretty cool. And if it's more in uh, line with uh, Persona 4's version of uh, Shadows and Personas. Although we've never seen it to the effect of, uh, you know, it not being them as their own shadow, which is interesting. And, like, the shadow then becoming the Persona. This is pretty cool. Shadows, personas, cognitive beings, all these originate within the human heart. But to be fair, it could be in another one of these games that I've never played yet, because there's a couple Persona games I haven't touched yet, which could have something like this in there. You never know. From what I know currently. But in your case, 
Despite checking all the boxes, you aren't exactly any of those. Hmm. <sighs> she definitely seemed to be Toshiro's persona a second ago. She definitely seemed that way indeed. And now she's back to the arena we know. Through and through. <laughs> through and through indeed. I admit I have no idea how relevant your past experiences to my own situation. Hmm. But what I do know is, I serve as the core of Toshiro's heart. My reason for existence is to protect it. Makes sense. Protect it from who, exactly? That's a good question, actually. Maria and... Hmm. No, I think it's actually something more powerful. More powerful, you say? I don't know his true identity, but he's been awfully dedicated to torturing me in particular. Really? And I believe he's someone who especially didn't want me awakening to my power. That's worrying. Whoa, what's that? Uh, seems like something else is making its way towards us. Whatever it is, it could very much be angry if it's the case if it is something. Uh oh, better prepare just in case. <gasps> Look, up there! Up where? Okay, looking up, I guess. <laughs> Preparing for the worst. And, uh, scared at the same time. Okay, well, uh, I think we found our higher being that's been playing along behind us, behind the scenes and everything, from what we've been told by Lady Lavenza throughout the story. And apparently, well, as she said, it's malevolence. So, whatever we're dealing with right now is definitely not good. Very, uh, interesting design, though. Gold and white and black. Very angelic looking, too, which is interesting. But, uh, let's see what Morgana has to say. Definitely seems that way. Who is it, though? Don't be frightened. Why are you here? That sure is a lofty sounding pretense. I'm assuming you're the one responsible for everything that's happened. Seemingly. Although, right now it's not acting malevolent like Lorenzo was saying to us. The one responsible. Yeah, who's responsible? Okay. My soul wishes to protect all of man, my precious lost land. If you say so, Sam uh Samael. Uh who exactly are you? Safety from Calamity. Where have we heard this before, buddy? <laughs> uh, I don't trust you with a ten-foot pole after you just said that. After what we've been through <laughs> in all these games. But okay. Sure, maybe that is the case, but... Is that true? As such, it is my duty to Huh? 
So, you don't like any of us then? Oh, okay. Yeah, that's, uh, that's not good. <laughs> so you're definitely fully against us then, from what you just said. In doing so, I shall rescue my pitiable children from throwing themselves into the inferno of war. Okay. Well, it kind of already is, but <laughs> what it's saying right now makes a little to no sense with what it's trying to say to us, with the fact that technically what we're doing is already good, so I don't know why he's going up against us. If comprehension leaves you, then so be it. My protection is a unilateral nature to begin Unilateral, you say? No intention, you say. Okay. Well, what from what Toshiro is saying, it sounds like you're more, more intending to go for him instead. But he didn't know that you were you, obviously. Um. Hmm. You said your name was Samael, right? Tell us what made you decide to come down now. Yeah. What is your purpose? Given all the trouble you went through to break down Toshiro's heart behind the scenes. Yeah, why would you do that? The fact that you're showing yourself now tells me something. Yeah, it does actually. It tells us that you're obviously not showing your true nature. We messed up your plans, didn't we? Had to come see it for yourself. Seems like it. Silence, you tainted child of calamity and war. Mm hmm yeah, sure, sure, buddy. Benediction, you say. Therefore, allow me to shepherd you to your salvation. I implore you to accept my complication of peace. Uh, I don't think we need your salvation, buddy. I'm kind of worried what your salvation truly is. <laughs> if you're thinking that taking out Arena and Toshiro is a good idea. Uh, huh. However, if you should wish to have it, I shall make it so. Uh, huh. In doing so, you would be relieved of the tragic memories you experienced here and return to the life you know. And be a puppet again? I don't think that's really a, a life he would like to go back to. And I don't think anyone on the fan of these would want him to go back to that either. He goes home, and then we go home as well. You'll get rid of his memories of this world, and send him back to the real world. That doesn't confirm we get to go back, though. <laughs> Furthermore, my offer is not limited to him. The path of salvation is an invitation I extend to all of you. Okay, it's for all of us, but I don't want to take that, honestly. <laughs> I don't think that's a good idea at all. Man, the first time we it's not our first time taking down a an obviously corrupt one. Don't even try it, buddy. <laughs> Don't even try with that one. We've taken down corrupted ones and you seem to be definitely one of them. Uh-huh, yeah, sure, buddy. of a fleeting victory has clouded your senses. Uh huh. I shall be waiting to hear your true verdict at a different venue. Different venue, you say? Hey, who said you could just... Well, I guess he's leaving. By the way, bullets uh, all around his uh, little uh, suit there, by the way. It makes more sense about the... Uh, The logo we saw before with like the beating heart. 
it definitely fits more in line with that. And the star makes me think of that too, honestly. He looks like a giant legionnaire, basically, which is pretty cool. But uh, that's definitely our higher power that we've been sent here because of, as well as Lavenza. So we need to definitely be careful about that thing from here on out. I'm not standing down to that thing. Yep, I'd say that was the gist. Real generous of you, buddy. Yep, generous indeed. I know what it said was ridiculous, but can't deny the feat it's pulled off so far. Yeah, it's definitely grown pretty strong. I'm not sure what exactly it is, but I think its power is the real deal. Yeah, no way around that. That's awfully pessimistic of you, Arena. Well, it's huge, and uh, it uh, definitely doesn't look weak. I'll definitely have to say that one. I guess that's true. Maybe I am feeling some uneasiness. It's okay. It's, there's no no bad in feeling a little uneasy about everything. According to Salmael, I'm the reason this whole thing happened in the first place. Also, I think they're saying uh, that name wrong, by the way. I'm pretty sure it's Samael. But I'll double check that after the episode. But Salmael, Salmael is how they're saying it here. Not that I think everything I said was true. I won't say I wasn't bothered by it either. But yeah, it was a little bothering, for sure. It's a giant, scary, uh, well, corrupted angel. So yeah, it's a little worrying. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the music changed as soon as Toshiro showed up. Yeah, I don't think it matters anymore. I'm just saying, meeting the head honcho seems to have made you unusually meek. Hmm. But hey, perhaps you intend to accept his gracious offer of salvation? I don't want to do that. No, that's not what I... Uh... <laughs> You're double thinking it now, aren't you? You have a goal you believe in, and you keep moving forward. Even if it means no one, you'll get hurt. Which is true. That's what you and everyone else taught me. Yeah. <laughs> that is every what everyone taught him. Well, sounds like Joshiro has decided on his hands. Oh, good. That's right. It'll take more than a bit of lecturing to make us have a change of heart. Which is true. I agree. I don't see salvation as throwing away everything we've done so far either. If we were willing to settle for a deal like that, we wouldn't be the Phantom Thieves. Which is true. I don't think that's changed since we came to this. I think we're even more firm in our resolve now. So waiting for another venue isn't really going to do that. To do Samael uh, very, uh, very much of anything. Honestly, I don't quite understand the nature of this new power I've awakened. Honestly, all it's really giving him is a easier, a better battlefield for us <laughs> to go to, probably. That is true. And nothing some egotistical god says is going to change that. Hm. Oh, Shiro. You're right. Thanks. Hey, way to go, Toshiro! When'd you learn to talk the talk, huh? <laughs> <laughs> but I think we have our decision now. Don't you think? Yep, we got nothing but our decision. Okay, let's prepare to head out then. Where are two next, though? I guess we're following that thing now, I guess, at this point. Okie dokie! Time to wrap this thing up, leader! Yep, time to wrap up the need. Joker, I couldn't have made it this far without you. No problem, buddy. You don't need to thank us, though. Your confidence means the world to me. So, will you fight with me until the end? I will definitely do that, bud. <laughs> don't forget our deal, we'll do it together. We'll do it together. No problem, buddy. I'm glad I could help. Hell yeah! Time to fry up this salmon jerkwad! Salmon? Wait, how are we even gonna reach the thing? Even that's wrong. Salmon? Isn't it salmon? Yeah, so it is said, being said differently. Huh. Um, up? What do you mean, up? That doesn't really help us. 
Uh, maybe it does. Is that a train? That is definitely a train. Uh, well, something above us is coming straight towards us, I think. Whatever it is, I got no clue other than it being somehow a train. But sounds interesting, though. I will definitely have to say. I'll have to say that indeed. Well, the, the train uh, sounds and uh, everything definitely makes more sense now, <laughs> but it also makes more sense about the forge and everything, so I guess she forged a, a nice little train for us for our next destination, I guess, into our more than likely fourth and final kingdom, it seems. But here she is. Let's see what uh, Morgana's got to say. Miss Lavenza, indeed. Why did Miss Lavenza become the sky and come here from the train? <laughs> well, looks like she came because we needed some help. It looks like. It is going to be all right, Morgana. It'll be okay. Uh, is she an acquaintance of yours? You could say that. Well, she definitely is. From talking cats to blue children. You sure have an eclectic bunch of acquaintances, don't you? You could definitely say that. Excuse me, but please refrain from making peculiar characterizations of people. Actually, let's save that for later. She, he, he didn't mean anything bad by that. <laughs> Lavenza took, took uh, offense to it. Aw, oh, that wasn't meant to be offensive. That you all have a destination to get to. Yeah, wherever Samuel went, or uh, Samuel, or Salmel Mail is how they're saying it. But yeah, we need to get to him. Should your will be resolute, I am willing to lend you my aid. We really need your help. I only ask that you make your decision while this room retains its present form. Okay. Oh, well, definitely that's a yes then. Whoa. Do you mean this train is literally the velvet room? <laughs> that's cool. Indeed. This is but another manifestation of the velvet room. I like it. I definitely like it. However, as for why it assumed its current form following its previous volatile state, it is a big mystery. Frankly speaking, even I do not have that answer. Probably, uh, Igor sending some help. Maybe. More than likely. While that does beg a plethora of concerning questions, this doesn't feel like the right time to raise them. It really doesn't. So we'll be skirting across the night sky on a flying express line? What fun! Sounds pretty fun to me. Would you mind if I took a moment to sketch the train in its entirety? No time, buddy. I would mind. Please board immediately. <laughs> what? Yeah, sorry there, Yusuke. No time at all. Come on, what are we waiting for? Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on, indeed. Also, we need to get to a save. Full steam ahead. All right. Yep, full steam ahead, indeed, Haru. Choo -choo indeed. You do realize that's not what the train actually sounds like, right? <laughs> kind of does. Don't be a spoil sport. Just do it. Yeah, just do it, buddy. Have some fun. <laughs> Why are you doing it? She's having some fun. Come on, Toshiro. Be a kid for once. Characters in the fray now, don't we? 
Yeah, we definitely do, but that's a good thing. Well, uh, we owe them a lot. The power vested within you grows through your bonds with others. Yeah, and you're the best to know that. Also, ouch. <laughs> Hit my hand on the keyboard there on accident just because of the positioning of everything at the moment. It is quite feasible your powers as a trickster have reached new heights because of it. Yeah, yeah, I would say that. We are now departing. Please exercise caution so you are not flung from the train. <laughs> okay, please give me a save. We have, like... We need it. Okay, you've locked a special persona fusion. Maximum is now 30. I'm taking the save. Write that down. We need it. And this is definitely the end of today's episode. There's no no way we're going any further. But there he is. Third Third Kingdom cleared, officially. So, with that being said, thank you all so much for hanging out with me today. It's been a blast hanging out with you guys, like always. And with that being said, Fourth Kingdom, here we come. More than likely the final one. So, we're definitely preparing for Samuel now. Or Samuel. But, uh, I'll get the the real name here in a second, just because the game's not saying it right. But with that being said, thank you all for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Keep being spooky, and I'll see you all in Chapter 4. Peace out. Hey, boys and girls, thank you all for watching today's episode. If you liked what you saw today, please leave a like and maybe even subscribe. And hit the bell notification down below. If you guys have any kind of suggestions for games, please put that in the comments down below as well. Thank you all for watching today's episode. And keep being spooky. Peace out, guys.